Alright, hey guys, everything new under the sun. I wanted to take a second and talk about hard drive replacement and the RMA process I went through with Seagate. So if you follow the channel and uh, probably, I don't know how many are, are actually following the whole Drobo playlist that I have. I've been doing a lot of Drobo videos. That's because I went through a Drobo, Drobo uh, second gen uh, four bay and then I went to a Drobo FS all used in four parts really. And then I found another four parts not working, Drobo uh, 5N. So that's three different Drobos that I've went through. And so I've been backing up data, moving data across. And that means I'm putting uh, my hard drives through a, later, a lot of stress. And so you can see all the videos that I've done on, on the Drobos. And I have more to come because I want to do some videos on um, the applications, how to install some of the applications um, on the Drobo 5N because I think that's a really neat thing. And I don't think a lot of people have done videos on that uh, to any, uh, into any depth that I was interested in seeing. I was searching for them uh, because I wanted to try them out and, and I didn't see any. So that's a whole maybe video series that's coming up. But I did want to share my Seagate drive experience because with that, I'm using dual redundancy disk um, setting on the Drobo unit itself. I suppose I could actually show that. Uh, well, I, don't, I won't show that. It's kind of the purpose. Um, but... I did have a couple of hard drive failures, and I had a hard drive failure of a, uh, a two-year-old Seagate Barracuda, which is not uh, completely unexpected, although dying after two years uh, shouldn't have happened. Um, and I also have a, had a failure of a, uh, a couple-month-old Seagate Iron Wolf 3TB drive, which was totally unexpected. The Drobo didn't like it. The, ba the Drobo basically spit it out saying, uh, you know, it was dying. It thought it was dying. And I put these both into my drive toaster. Where's my drive toaster? One second here. This is my drive toaster. It's a Seabrent drive toaster. Put them in there, um, did the disk utility check on Mac, and it seemed to work fine. There was nothing wrong with it. But the Drobo was spitting it out. Apparently the Drobo thought it was dying. Um, so what could I do? I knew it was still in warranty, so I thought I'd take, take the chance try and set it in, see if they would give me a warranty replacement, because I know maybe there is something actually wrong with it. Well, I sent both drives in. The process is a little bit, uh, not sketchy, it's just very outdated. So you go to Seagate's website, and you got to go to the special link for Canadian customers only, because it's sent to Mississauga, Ontario. I'm on the East Coast. So you fill this thing out, and you send the hard drive in, um... Basically, uh, basically, you got to sign off that you will lose everything on that hard drive if there was anything on there to begin with, if it's not completely failed. And they will take a look at it and hopefully replace it if it's in warranty. Well, they did. Um, and it was really, really nice, actually, the whole process. So what they did, they went ahead and... <clears throat> So I shipped the, the two hard drives, the Iron Wolf, the, the NAS hard drive, and the regular Seagate uh, PC hard drive in. And it wasn't, uh, but a week later, they sent a replacement back. So I got a box, you know, just this size, and uh, got two drives. They came really, really quick. The service was really good. Here's what it looks like. This is, um, this is the one terabyte Barracuda drive that I got back. And this is the three terabyte uh, Iron Wolf drive that I got back so basically they're refurbished drives which is interesting and it actually shows on the piece of paper that they stick in there um, that it comes straight from Taiwan it's a certified let me see certified drive I think oh yeah recertified <coughs> product I don't know if you can see that you can see at the very top there recertified product this happens to be the iron wolf I haven't even opened these bags yet. I think what I'm going to do is, because I have um, all the drives currently working in the Drobo, I'm not going to go ahead and open these. I guess I'll, I can... No, I, you know what? I can't show you this Drobo screen because it doesn't show up as an app that I can show, uh, present to you. Regardless, I've got five drives in my Drobo right now. They're working fine. I do have a 500 gig in there I could replace, but I'm not going to. Uh, but the overall experience was uh, very good with Seagate, even though the process is kind of old-fashioned you got to fill out this piece of paper and go to the special weirdo Canadian link uh, to get the paperwork for it um, you send it in they send you hard drives right away you see they come with paperwork let's see I won't show I won't show the address but they come with paperwork there and it actually shows you the cost 
of the hard drive. Look at that, $41. This is for the three terabyte uh, Iron Wolf. So you know how much they're actually paying for it. This is uh, this comes from straight from Taiwan, basically. Uh, well, that's the country of origin. It doesn't the hard drive doesn't come from Taiwan. It comes from Ontario, um, from stock, but. I don't know, interesting uh, experience. It was straightforward. I had to pay for the shipping of the unit. I had to, so it was about, I forget, I think it was about $20 uh, per hard drive to send. Um, but effectively, like I say, you get a brand new recertified hard drive. So hopefully the Drobo will not spit these out. I haven't tried that yet, but if it does, um, it might be worth trying again, you know, for 20 bucks to get a, effectively a brand new drive. Um, considering that the Drobo thinks that they're dying uh, is not bad at all. I, I was going to show you, this is the uh, the Seagate uh, support and warranty website, so you can go ahead and register your product uh, products. Um, I haven't done this yet. I'll probably go ahead and register the products just so that they're in there for next time. You don't have to do that. I didn't do that for my original drives. I just looked them up on the warranty status. You can check the warranty on the hard drives and found that they were both in there. I hadn't registered them yet. And I simply sent them back. So, it's, But it's just nice to know that you can register a product uh, should it go out later so you don't have to uh, fiddle with the uh, serial numbers and all that kind of stuff at a later point. So I just figured I would share my experience. It was really quick. The turnaround was pretty much like a week worth of business days, like you know, five to seven business days. It was really quick. If you were living closer to Ontario, it would be even quicker. And I don't think they do much to them. I think they just maybe they pop them in a hard drive toaster, like I say, give them a quick uh, test. Um, to verify that you know that you didn't do it, you didn't smash it with a hammer, basically, um, and, and then they just give you no questions asked. They didn't ask me what system I had it in. They didn't ask me uh, what the symptoms were, etc. They just sent me a new drive. So my experience was pretty good. And like I say, what I'll do with these is I'll just hold them on a shelf, and uh, and when I run out of space or another drive fails, I'll be able to pop these in uh, right away. So good service from. Seagate just wanted to share you share my RMA experience. You do have to send your hard drive in, you pay for it, and then about five, seven business days later they return a recertified. And I guess it is key to note that these are recertified products. I don't know what that means. Are they used? Uh, are they duds that they retested and certified and sent back out? I can't I can't speak to that. So I don't know what the longevity, what the quality of the, these drives will be. Uh, but in theory, uh, they have more strenuous testing especially for the Iron Wolf drive, um, than you can do on your, your own system. So they should have uh, some good idea for um, the quality of the drive at that point. Uh, but hopefully it's not been used very much. Anyways, I'll leave it there, guys. I thought I would uh, show that to you, talk to you uh, a, bit about, a bit about that. And definitely check out the rest of my series. Let me know if you won't have any questions about the Drobo, about backing up, about hard drives, etc. And I can certainly try and answer them from uh, from my experience uh, with them. And that was my first experience RMAing some hard drives. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.